Hey guys, today we're gonna do a first looks video on the Cloud Defensive Rain. So I've been asked a ton about this light and uh, probably been the most request product I've had on Instagram uh, since being released and knowing that I was getting one. So really excited to get out and actually start testing this and putting it through its paces and see how well this does uh, to my testing. But I just want to really quick go over uh, my first impressions of it. So the first thing I notice is it feels very durable and solid, a lot like the Owl. Uh, the Owl, as most of you know, if you're familiar with it, is, is an absolute tank. Uh, it's basically, uh, basically indestructible. The thing is pretty cool. The testing that they've done and I've seen done to it uh, is really neat. This one feels a lot like that, just very solid. Later on, I'll be doing some different tests to it to see with the durability. I believe there is a YouTube video already on the durability of this and someone doing some torture tests on it. So uh, if you guys want to see that, check that out. But I just want to go over some of the key features of this before we get into an actual full review later down the road. So let's jump right into it. So 1400 lumens, that is quite a lot. And I'll put the Cadella in here because I don't remember the exact number, but I'll also show a bunch of things from their website so you guys can see all the numbers and everything like that because I'm not going to memorize all the numbers and, and post them here. I'll just show you guys something on B-roll. You guys can see that on the back. Uh, you have a tape switch here that is a proprietary tape switch from Cloud Defensive. And it also has... Uh, a new LCS mounting solution. So if you guys are familiar with the LCS, it's a very cool way to mount and keep your cable managed and everything like that. They came out with a new one and it works just with their tape switch. So that's a really cool unit. Has a momentary on and then a constant on here. And what's cool about that is it doesn't turn on until the click is actually done. So you can have it staged so when you're ready to actually have it on, you release and it'll go on. And then all you have to do is put pressure and it turns off. So that's nice. So if you are wanting that light to get off right away, you don't have to actually make that full click. You can just add a little pressure and the light turns off. Very light pressure turns that light off. So that's a pretty cool little feature. And then obviously if you want it completely off, you just press it in like that. So that is neat. And then a really cool feature that obviously you're noticing from this and uh, they've been talking about a lot if you've been following them is the fact that it, a cable exit out the side instead of the back. And that is really neat because a lot of your issues with tape switches and cables is when that cable comes out the back, gets snagged on things. With this, you're able to keep that cable really nice and tight and it really doesn't stick out in any way for it to actually get snagged unless you get something actually inside here and rips it out. So Cloud Defensive has done a lot with that and that's really neat. So your cable is a lot smaller and the fact that it exits out here on the side. They do have a tail cap button as well that is a momentary on and a constant on. So you have the option to go either way. And what's cool about that is they work completely independently. So say something happens to your tape switch, this is still gonna work. Say something happens to your tail cap, this is still gonna work. So that is cool and more of a duty use world where uh, if something goes wrong, you still need this to work. You have two options. So one goes down, the other is gonna work just fine. Uh, there's another thing inside here. It's like a tensioning device. What that does is it keeps that battery pressed against uh, the connection. So when you're under recoil, that battery isn't shaking or losing connection and flickering on and off. Uh, some of the other lights on the market have had that issue in the past and uh, Cloud Defensive installed this tensioning unit. I don't know all about it. I'll probably go over a little bit more detail in the full review, but there's a tensioning device in there that keeps that connection. So under recoil, this isn't flickering, which is a really cool feature. So talking about the new LCS, it is a polymer instead of aluminum like we're used to. I don't know if that's gonna be a good decision or not on theirs. I know they probably were trying to think of weight reduction. It is a lot smaller. So it does look really nice and it's really lightweight, really small, not very big, doesn't take a lot of space. But with a polymer, I don't know how durable that's gonna be. So we'll have to see uh, later down the road after I do some torture tests with this and whatnot, see if that has any kind of issue. I'm guessing they've done their own torture testing after seeing what they did to the owl and how much uh, brutal beat down they did to that, I would imagine they did the same thing for the, the LCS unit on here. So I would imagine it is gonna pass anything that I'm gonna do to it, but that is one thing that I'm gonna note that I'm really taking a look at and gonna be noticing to see how well that does during the testing. Another cool feature about this is say you have this mounted to your gun like this and your cable's exiting up here so you have to bring this around and mount it to your gun. Kind of defeats the purpose of having that side exit uh, cable. What you can do is unscrew this you pull this out and then you can switch it over right here. It clicks in, screw that back on. And now your cable's exiting right towards your rifle. So you can exit that any four portions you want. You have right here, up here, 
then each side from there. So that is neat, depending how you want it mounted to your gun or where you want your tape switch, you can remove this and just switch it around and have that exiting which direction you want. So battery options, uh, it comes with this guy and this is a really good battery, the same thing with the Owl and it comes with a charging station here from Nightcore. These are really nice chargers as well. So it uh, comes with a charger, comes with a rechargeable battery. So you should never really have to worry. I actually got a solar panel uh, charger as well so I can plug uh, this to the solar panel, use the sun and charge my battery so I never have to worry about batteries. So that's also on their website if you guys are interested. So the battery and charging box that comes with it is a really cool feature that I like that Cloud Defensive continues to do. So for mounting solutions, this does come with a pick rail mount that you can use to put onto your gun. I personally don't really like it and I'm not gonna use it. That's gonna stay in the box. I personally like the fact that they actually use the same mounting setup as Surefire. So you're gonna be able to use all your original Surefire mounts, whatever is on the market. There's a lot of stuff already on the market for Surefire and a lot of you are already probably using Surefire stuff. So you can just use the mount that you're already using, put it on, which I'm using an Impact Weapon Components and Halo Strategic Thorntail 6. I really like these mounts and that is what I'm personally using to be able to get the light a little bit closer to the body because if you use the side mount it just sticks out a little bit farther and i personally don't like that uh, with these they sit a lot closer to your gun and a little bit better of an angle so you can use whatever angle mount you want this is just the ones that i like to use it's a really smart of cloud defensive to really make everything proprietary that really matters on their side but the mounting solution they kept with what everybody already has because that would have kind of stunk for those of you that already have the mounts and now have to spend 60 dollars on a new mount to put this light on say for some reason you want to replace your surefire you could take your surefire off leave that mount on there and just replace the light so that's a cool little feature that they added the exact same mounting solution uh something i know a lot of optic companies are doing like hollow sun there's no reason that anyone would ever take their Trigicon off, re, you know, mill out their gun for uh, a hollow sun. But hollow sun just made the same footprint. So for those of you that just want to try the hollow sun, they can just lay it on there and it works. So really smart to stay with the same footprint and same mounting solution. So those of you that want to switch, you don't have to actually switch the mounts. All you have to do is switch the light. So lastly, here's a comparison with a Surefire M600DF. Uh, size wise, the cloud defensive is definitely bigger. Uh, other than that, they're probably gonna be pretty comparable with everything else. So I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna be doing some light testing with both of them to show off the difference between the two. On uh, the full review, we'll do in a lot more of that, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the both and see how uh, they compare to each other. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more comparing later on. I'd like to get a mod light as well and compare them because I think I wanna get all of the main light companies and try to compare all their lights and see which one I like the best. So personally, I already love Surefire stuff. I've been using their stuff for a long time. Uh, Cloud Defensive, I also really love their stuff. The Owl has been a fantastic light. Uh, so both companies make fantastic lights, but I'm really curious to see which one uh, is a little bit ahead of the other and why. So we'll be going over that later down the road when I get more lights, but I just wanna give you guys a quick glimpse of the two so you can kind of see how they compare. So there's a first quick look at the rain itself. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a full review later to show you guys what I've thought after testing and everything. But so far, it's a really cool light. I think Cloud Defensive put a lot of thought into it like they normally do with their stuff. Uh, they usually are a little bit later on releasing them because they wanna make sure it's done right, and I appreciate that. So if you guys wanna pick up one for yourself, go check out Cloud Defensive. You can use my discount code. That'll save you 10% off anything on the website, and uh, that just helps uh, bring the price down a little bit because you're looking at about 270 uh, for these lights if you can find them in stock. There's a micro version as well. It's just a smaller version. I do not have that. I'll be getting one eventually, uh, but for right now, just have the full-size ones. But really happy with this light so far. I think it's pretty cool, and I'm really excited to see how it continues to perform throughout the different testing that I'm going to do to it. If there's anything specific you guys want to see me do to it, uh, put it in the comments, and I'll try to make that happen for the full review. If you guys have any specific questions, I'll try to answer those in the full review. Hopefully, this just gives you guys an idea of the light itself, and if you kind of were on the fence, wasn't sure about it, I just wanted to at least give you guys kind of a detailed overview of the thing. And then uh, later on, we'll do the full review. If you guys wanna help me in the channel and the things I do here, there's a couple ways to do that. There's Patreon, which unfortunately I haven't been able to do a ton just because of how busy I've been. And then there's also my website. Uh, there's other websites like Brownells, uh, Cloud Defensive, Aero Precision, anything you purchase using those links gives me a small kickback and shows those companies that I'm generating traffic, which is a big help and helps continue with the channel. Uh, if you wanna do those things, I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out. If not, not a big deal. I just appreciate you guys being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you guys so much. Another company that supports me a ton and the things I do here is Howitzer. Really love these guys 
the designs, their shirts, and the quality of their shirts. Another nice thing is they really support the community. They're always doing different events and they give 5% of charity, which is a really cool thing because they gave over $200,000 to charity last year. So I'm really excited to see what they do this year. And I'm actually gonna be having my own line of clothing here soon uh, to work up some details with that. But thank you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoy uh, the rest of the year. It's gonna be a crazy one and I'll keep you guys updated with everything going on. Thank you guys.